What's going on, Imperials? It's Emperor Cubone here. Mastering Pokémon types are essential for anyone wanting to succeed. But when they combine, it can alter the strengths and weaknesses a certain Pokémon might have. Seeing what new pairings they've come up with is one of the best parts of any new generation. But sometimes a Pokémon will be unfortunate enough that it would have been better off with only one type, since the combination doesn't do it any favors. But please bear in mind that this list is only out of the limited pool of type pairings that have yet to be made in the games. So, here are the top 6 worst unused type combinations in Pokémon. Number 6. Psychic and Bug Just to start off, there aren't actually all that many types that have gone unmatched. So some of the, shall we say, lesser types may be appearing more than once. But first we have a pairing that might seem perfectly fine in Psychic and Bug. Psychic is weak to Bug, Ghost, and Dark, all of which are common fears within the human psyche. Psychic resists itself, fighting, and... Wait, that's it? It doesn't resist anything else? I mean, now that you say it, I don't know what it would be, but they just seem kind of fragile as is. I feel like they need the help. Anyway... Bug is weak to flying, rock, and fire, and Bug resists grass, fighting, and ground. As you can see, this particular mix of types doesn't do much in the way of canceling out susceptibilities. It nets a quad fighting resistance, but more importantly, it still retains every weakness it had before. People rag on Mega Sceptile because it has six weaknesses, correctly pointing out that it's weak to a third of the game. Well, this combination gives the same results, but with arguably less useful resistances and negligible stab attacks. Psychic used to be the strongest type in the game, and Bug was supposed to be one of the few things that could counteract it. But putting them together somehow compromises both of these types and makes a less than desirable combination. Number 5. Fighting and Fairy I am not a huge fan of the fighting type, and Fairy isn't much higher on the list. So maybe this is a bit of a personal choice, but I really do think these types together don't do very much. Fighting is weak to Psychic, Flying, and Fairy, and it resists Rock, Bug, and Dark. Fairy is weak to Poison and Steel, and Fairy resists Dark, Bug, and Fighting, and of course is immune to Dragon. This combo gives a 4 times resistance to both Bug and Dark. Other than that, all of the effectiveness is unique, meaning that they all stay and this Pokémon keeps every weakness. I'm never a huge fan of a Pokémon that is weak to itself. A fairy that's weak to fairy just seems like it's in over its head. But even worse to me is a Pokémon that has seemingly contradictory matchups. Like how this pairing would end up being super effective against Steel, but also weak to it. So facing one in battle would just be a guessing game of speeds. On a side note, Fighting is good against Dark, but Fairy is super effective against Fighting, but also Dark. So it trumps over both, which I feel is terribly unbalanced. But simply put, these types do little to nothing in the way of balance, with few pros being outweighed by far too many cons. Number 4. Normal and Poison Normal is the definition of basic. No effectiveness against any other type, but of course other things are able to resist it. But luckily it is only weak to fighting, somewhat offset by its immunity to Ghost. All that being said, that means Normal doesn't really have a lot to offer in any pairings that might arise. Poison by itself is a very decent typing defensively, almost surprisingly so. Poison is only weak to Psychic and Ground, and it resists fighting, grass, poison, bug, and fairy. So what's so bad about that, you might ask? It makes fighting neutral only leaving two weaknesses. That's true, but that's not really the side that I'm looking at. As we know, normal hits nothing super effectively. But take a look at poison. See, I had just assumed that there was some point to poison existing, but the facts say otherwise. For the majority of Pokemon's existence, Poison was only super effective against Grass. Grass already has so many weaknesses, did it really need this one that specializes in killing only it? 
In Gen 1, poison did work against bugs, and since fairies came around, it got a slight bump in usefulness. But seriously, I can't believe how superfluous poison attacks were for so long. And even now, you don't necessarily need poison, since its areas of emphasis can be taken out by others instead. Simply put, if there were to be a normal poison-type Pokémon, it would have very little to offer and might just be the worst offensive pairing that could exist in the game. Number 3. Fighting and Ground It hurts me to put ground on the list in any form, and I have no real problem against this pairing. Other than it's my favorite type with my least favorite type, I even once made up a ground and fighting type lizard thing that I was very proud of. But let's just take a look at it. We've seen fighting's weaknesses and resistances already, but ground is weak to water, grass, and ice, and ground resists rock and poison, and is immune to electric. As you can see, once again, aside from a doubled up resistance to rock, these types barely touch each other. Every weakness is still there, none of them cancel out. These types clearly run in different circles because their defensive makeups are entirely different. But more than that, just really think about what these types are super effective against. Sure, it could give a nice tool against ice types for the ground, and fire and electric can now be taken out by a fighting type, but what else is there? Poison? Dark? Normal? Two of the major types taken out by fighting are rock and steel, but ground also hits those two types, which makes it seem a little... redundant. If you ask me, the types that you could hit super effectively, in this case, are superfluous or negligible and can't really make up for the abundance of weaknesses this potential Pokémon would be carrying. Number 2. Normal and Ice We've already seen the pitfalls of the normal type, but let's take a look at Ice. The Ice type does have a lot of strengths offensively, it hits pretty well, but defensively it's a joke. We know Normal is weak to fighting and immune to ghost, while Ice is weak to fire, rock, steel, and fighting, and Ice resists only Ice. That is by far the worst of any type resistances. So combined, these two net a 4 times fighting weakness, and the rest stays put. Having a 400% increase ratio between resistances and weaknesses is a death sentence. For the ice type side, the pairing isn't so bad. It gets an immunity to ghost and no real extra weaknesses, just a dialed up version of one it already had. But for the normal side of things, this deal's getting worse all the time. It gets an extra 3 weaknesses and a times 4 of one that it had, and all it gets for its trouble is a measly single resistance to ice. Just as the normal poison variant might be the worst offensive Pokémon that could exist, a potential normal ice type might just have to be the worst balance of strengths and weaknesses. But somehow I still think there's at least one combination that would be worse. Number 1. Ice and Bug Ice, taken by itself, is generally considered one of, if not the worst type in the entirety of the Pokémon franchise. Meanwhile, Bug houses many of the most notoriously weak Pokémon, with the cocoons being especially prominent images conjured in the mind when thinking of useless Pokémon. We've already seen the configurations for Ice and Bug in this video, so we can see the combination does cancel out the fighting weakness, which is about the one good thing I can say about it. Looking just at the other resistances, we have Ice, Grass, and Ground, which it's good that they have something to resist, but who's going to be using Grass or Ground against an Ice-type Pokémon anyway? Ice is super effective against both. The only solace you might have is that the same could be said for your still active Flying weakness, but that's only if you're faster. That still leaves the Steel weakness and two Quad weaknesses. Any potential Ice Bug type would not only be obliterated by any small fire types, but it's another of those unfortunate Pokémon that would lose half health on switching in to the ever-present Stealth Rocks. And I'm not saying it would have to be this way, but if this Frosty Insect were only obtainable late in the game, as is the Ice-type tradition, most every trainer will have a Rock or Fire-type on the team that will easily handle them with one shot. 
Basically, the few resistances that it does have are not all that useful and in no way make up for dialing up its weaknesses to the point that the slightest touch will bring it to its knees. Let's just say I can completely understand why this type pairing hasn't been done before and should never be made unless literally every other combination has been done first. So, those are the top six worst type combinations in Pokemon. And as a personal note, I would just like to address that it is my birthday, and I just wanted to thank all of you Imperials out there for getting me over 20,000 of the best presents I could ever wish for. Which unused type combinations do you think are the worst? Let me know down in the comments. Also be sure to leave a like, share this video, and subscribe so that you too can become an Imperial today. And we'll see you around next time!